So, what's up guys? How do you do? Welcome to today's edition of Programming with Us TV. In this class, I'm going to teach you about butter knife. I'm going to introduce you guys to butter knife. And butter knife is basically a library that you can use to bind, of course, uh, fields and methods to views. And we're going to talk about that later on. For now, this is the simple example that we're going to create. Okay. So, yeah, we can have something like this one. And then we have our image and then we have our button so basically the thing is that this is an edit text this is a button this is an image view then this is a, a button right here now these buttons the these views or widgets if you like you can actually bind them or of you can bind them using butter knife basically it's an alternative to using find view by id okay so we're going to see that one right here now in this case i've toggled them okay and you can see now see we have a progress dialog a progress bar we still have the text view we still have our edit text and image our buttons okay basically the thing is that we're bas using butter knife right here in this project instead of find view by id without butter knife you'd have to be writing a lot of boilerplate code basically find view by id and then anonymous inner classes to handle your own click listeners so once we move over to the code we're going to see actually butter knife it's very intuitive to use okay so we can actually create this type of stuff using we can basically work with these views using just a simple annotation okay so yeah butter knife let's get started with it okay so first and foremost before we jump over to our code we're going to look at the introduction to butter knife this is actually a jack um, of course a library that you're working with okay so as you can see it's telling us that butter knife basically allows us to bind our android views and callbacks to methods of course when you're writing your program of course in an object oriented language like java your classes are going to have the fields okay or your variables it's also going to have your methods so those methods you can actually bind them directly to their specific views using butter knife okay so basically butter knife is an alternative to having to use the find view by id so what are some of the advantages of butter knife as you can see they are listed right here first it allows to eliminate the find view by id course all we have to do is to use the it at bind view on fields okay now we can also group multiple views in a list or in an array it also allows us to of course avoid or eliminate the use of anonymous in a classes for listeners basically when you're handling your own click uh listeners you can basically just use something like at on click you just annotate your method with this one and that's it okay so you don't have to write those tedious course, uh, codes of the anonymous in a classes which are very uh rampant of course in java then it also allow us to eliminate the resource lookups in that we can just use the resource annotations on fields okay so this right here of course is a butter knife example we're going to look at a more full example you can see that we have the edit text and basically we use the at bind view and then we pass in the id so in this case we don't have to use the find view by id okay you can see right here we are this are field right here and we're just binding it to the view that is the edit text that is actually defined in our xml so that is it we can also bind strings not just views but also strings as you can see right here and then this is how we listen to an on click okay so that is of course in but button knife now of course to install it first well, as you're going to see you just add the implementation and then the annotation process as well so you add those two in your dependencies to we'll look at that one and of course you can see if you're using kotlin then you replace the annotation processor with kapt so that is it right there so that of course is if you are creating um a project and of course this is an alternative if you are you creating a library so that is it that's button knife guys let's now move over and then write a full project Alright, so go ahead create your project. Now once you've created the project, 
all we need to do as you can see we have two build or gradle files right here that is if you're using this particular view okay then tree right here so inside the first one is normally the root level or the project level build or gradle in this case we don't have to do anything because we're going to be fetching our button knife from the j center which is the default repository now if suppose you are to use some other repositories like the JIT pack, then you'd have to add it right here but for now we are getting it from the j center so we don't modify the root project level the other one is right here the module level or the app level build or cradle yeah this is the one that will come and modify so as you can see first implementation statements for some support libraries then we add the implementation statement for the butter knife and then as we had agreed we add the annotation processor so that's all we need to do and then we sync the project now once we've done that one then we're going to move over right here to our resources so in our resources we just move directly to of course our layout in fact in the drawables we have some images right here okay so we have some images which we can actually use in an image view but let's come right here to activity main.xml which of course was generated to us by android studio so here the first one our root element is going to be the relative layout okay so relative layout of course as you know is a view group that normally allows us to arrange our views relative to one another then we have this text view which will basically act as our header and then we have the progress bar so this is just a basic progress bar right here and then we have a linear layout inside the linear layout we actually have some two but an image view in fact an edit text as you can see the name edit text we also have an image view then we also have of course a button right here and then we also have another button below them okay so basically that's all we have you can see this is basically what we are creating just a simple view then we now come we go over to our main activity to write our code all right so this is it right here we come over to our main activity so probably by with Android Studio if you generated your project you have something like this one okay uh, basically a blank class main activity that is extending the app compact activity so all we need to do now is to come right here and then of course first we're going to have our fields these are fields or variable instance fields now a text view for example of the name of the variable is the header text view now this text view we're going to bind it to of course a view that is called that has the id r dot id dot header text view now that id that view of course would it's actually this one and we had actually defined it of course in our layout resource so if we come right here you can see we have all these views with the ids okay so the first text view right there we are binding it to this header text view now the progress bar will bind it to the view with the r dot id dot my progress bar the same thing with the edit text also it's view then the image view as well then the buttons and then also have right here the strings now take note we have the header text one and the header text two by the if we go over to our strings.xml we didn't look at it so strings.xml right here this is where you can actually write your static strings now you can see we have the header one the name of the first string and then the header two the name of the second string we now we come right here we bind of course our header text one and header text two which are basically strings we bind them to the ones that we defined in our strings.xml so that's all we we'll do now we'll come and then override the on create method and then we we'll just come and say button knife dot bind then this okay then we come right here and now we come of course we create us just a method the way you'd create any method so public void grid is just an ordinary method nothing special about it but what we do as you can see is taking in a view object as a parameter and then we add this annotation okay 
so at one click r dot id dot green button so basically when the green button is clicked then this method will get invoked okay so that's basically what you're doing you can see it's very intuitive in that you don't have to write those find view by id so you don't have to write those anonymous inner classes that you normally do in java so this is actually the advantage of button if okay very concise code now in this case we'll just show whatever was typed in the name edit text so basically we've bound the greet method the greet method to our green button okay to our greet button sorry now we'll come and then also come create another method called toggle now the toggle we are going to also bind it to r.id.toggle button so toggle button of course you can see right here so when that button is clicked then this is what will happen okay if show original is true then we're going to set our image resource right here and a different image then we'll dismiss our progress bar and then our header text view will show header text one otherwise if it is false then we'll show another image we'll set our progress bar to visible and then for the header text we will show header text 2 okay and then of course we negate the show original so that's basically what we do okay and that's basically our butter knife right there so the code once more we're going to attach it to our website the div uh, our website okay our new website devosha.com so you guys can check the download the source code read there and also find more documentation so that's it to run the project just click run okay you just click right here run it's going to run for us the project so that's it make sure you guys like the video subscribe to our channel programming users tv and take care i'll catch you in the next class